I'm getting old, doctor. Is it okay to get dental implants? This is one of the commonest questions that I get uh, from my senior patients there. Uh, so let's address this question in this video. Hi, this is Dr. Arun from Pearls Industry Chennai. We have been running our dental centers since the year 2001. Is age, an advancing age, a criteria for not getting dental implants done or is it a risk factor? So let's, let's, let's address this. So age and advancing age is one of the factors that we should definitely consider when we plan our dental implants. Why is it so? Because with increasing age, uh, dental implants being done in bone, right? the density of the bone reduces with age. Some people uh, may suffer from osteoporosis, reduced density of bone. Uh, some might be taking medications for their bone health to improve their bone health. So it's definitely something that we need to consider when it comes to placing dental implants in the patient's bone. Another thing that happens uh, with, uh, with advancing ages, the body's ability to heal, the reparative potential of the body to heal comes down over a period of time. Why does it happen? So when it comes to soft tissues, right, uh, the amount of blood flow to the tissues reduces with age. And also when it comes to bone, there are something called the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. So these are the cells that form bone and then form new bone and help to grow new bone around the implants. So when we have over a period of age with advancing age, as the reparative potential comes down, so it might take a longer time to heal both from a gum point of view, also from the bone point of view. So age is definitely a factor to be considered when it comes to, uh, you know, placing dental implants. But definitely it's not a contraindication. It's not that we can't do dental implants, but we need to consider these factors before we plan the dental implants. So how do we go ahead and proceed with it? Of course, if we take all precautions if required, we take a CBCT scan or a CT scan of the jaw to measure the density of bone, how dense the bone is, what is the quality of bone, how much of quantity of bone that is there for us to do, uh, for us to do dental implants. We keep the surgery as uh, simple as possible, uh, not doing an extensive surgery, which helps in faster repair of uh, the gum tissue as well as the bone tissue. And also we give sufficient time for the bone to heal uh, uh, after placing the implants and then before giving the final tooth. So that this gives enough time for the implants to heal inside the bone so that when we restore the implants with teeth, the bones are well integrated in the bone, they are very strong inside the bone and then they can function for a very long time. So when it comes to age, so age is not a contraindication, but it's something that we need to consider before we planning dental implants. Of course, the other important thing is what is the general health of the patient? How is the general health? Because most of the elderly patients do have diabetes, do have other heart conditions, they might be on medications for other uh, diseases that they have. So we need to consider those also when we plan our dental implants. So yes, you can go ahead and get your dental implants. Uh, it's not a contraindication. If you're aged, it's very important you are able to bite well, chew well and function well so that your body's nutritional demand are met. So it's very important that you have a fully functional fixed set of teeth. So it's perfectly safe to get dental implants done. But we need to consider uh, in terms of timing of the implant, the healing time of the implant and other general health factors. Uh, so please do like our videos, subscribe to our videos. If there are any questions, do write in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer. Thank you, Dr. Arun from Pearls Industry. Until next time, see you. Bye-bye. Do you like the video? Press the like button. Do subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive such videos. Thank you.